Hypocrisy. The practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. There are a lot of hypocrites in the political world, but none more brazen than the Center for Media and Democracy. The examples are numerous, but here are three of the CMD's most hypocritical moves. Number one, CMD loves to sling arrows at free market and conservative organizations, but fails to apply the same standards to its left-leaning buddies. For example, CMD has a whole project to expose any right-leaning group that has ever taken money from the tobacco industry. However, when CMD touts research from the left-leaning Economic Policy Institute, it fails to mention that group's own past tobacco ties. Number two, CMD often makes accusations directed at conservative organizations who accept what it calls dark money or anonymous donations. But confidential donations are a key part of our First Amendment rights, and they've been protected by the Supreme Court ever since the NAACP fought to keep their member and donor lists private for fear of reprisals. The irony is that CMD has taken more than half a million dollars from a foundation used to make anonymous donations. Not surprisingly, CMD has failed to recognize its hypocrisy on the issue of funding. That brings us to number three, CMD's hypocritical collaboration with other far-left organizations. Now, it's perfectly acceptable to work together with like-minded groups, of course, but while CMD criticizes free market groups for combining efforts and sharing resources, it has engaged in tactics that go beyond what they accuse others of doing, going so far as to adopt a cookie-cutter approach. Recently, a labor boss from the AFL-CIO was even caught copying material word for word from a CMD toolkit in an op-ed that ran in a major newspaper. To find out more about the Center for Media and Democracy, go to activistcash.com.